In Ireland, the Kyla, also referred to as the Hag, is known to be a supernatural female elder. The Kyla is seen as a redemptive icon whose power was based on the response to the nature and creative potential for living of the feminine side of existence and who resisted in narrative and ritual ways the subjugation of the female realm by patriarchal Celts or Christians. The Hag appears in stories about natural features and within tales of supernatural encounters between humans. She not only has the ability to shapeshift, but also to create mountains, ruins, and even islands. In Irish folk tradition, the hag can be seen in many different lights. She is a complex and dynamic character, acting in ways that are sometimes good and sometimes evil, but always powerful. Certain tales portray the hag as a powerful symbol of fertility and strength, while others show the supernatural woman as a deadly force. There were once three fishermen who lived with their sister. One day before they went out to fish, an old woman met them and told them that the sea appeared to be rough and that they were drowned. The fishermen went out, not heeding to the warning. When they were about five miles out, the old woman stopped by the sister's house and asked her to fill a pail with water and put a butter juggler in it. The old woman turned to face the sea and asked the sister to watch the juggler spin. The old woman asked, is it spinning? The sister said yes. Is it sinking? The old woman asked. Yes, the sister said. Is it sunk? Yes, the sister replied, and at that time, the three brothers drowned. The hag's power can be deadly, but more than that, the hag symbolizes the Irish woman as a force to be reckoned with. In many story, the hag demonstrates the same violence, aggression, and rebellion as many Irish women also showed during the 17th century colonial period. In the end, disregarding the hag's warning was what led the fishermen to the ultimate death. The Dingle Hag is credited with the creations of the islands of Scarif and Deanish. After seeing the Hag of Bear fall in hard times, her sister, the Dingle Hag, decided to put a straw rope around the island and drag it south, hoping to cheer the Hag of Bear up by presenting her with an extra island. Instead, the island split in two, and the straw broke at the Ivera Peninsula, leaving the islands of Deanish and Scarif in their place. The Hag's ability to create in nature highlights the strength in both her feminine and nurturing qualities. As a representation of the Irish woman, here the hag can be seen as a caring and nurturing creator, qualities often seen as motherly. The hag also has a connection to animals as well as to nature. Long ago, hags used to turn themselves into hares and go around from house to house sucking the milk from the cow. One time, a farmer shot the hare. After the hare ran away, he followed her to her house where he found the woman in bed with her head bleeding. He made her promise to never do that again, so she did not. This not only shows the hag's ability to shapeshift into different animals, but it also shows the hag's ability to keep her word. The combination of stealing, yet promising not to do so again, emphasizes the hag's complex character of good and evil. The hag's complexity is what makes her such an interesting part of Irish folklore. When describing the hag of bear's powers, it has been said that they are as nurturing and as intimately fruitful for human beings and for human existence as are the services of the midwife, the wise woman, and the Keening woman, whose Kyle inspired performance of service to the community was so essential. In the poem, The Lament of the Old Woman of Bear, a much more vulnerable side of the hag is presented. The Kaya Bera is a fabled creature of the distant past, once able to renew her powers from the endless forces of nature, but now faced with the pitiful degradation afforded old woman in a new patriarchal society. Now my hands, wrinkled to long bones, hang down dead, hands that locked kings of this land in loving, in the old days, my lost days. O oh, hands, wrinkled to long bones, even at my odd hours of lust, I must tell young men begone, should they come, I have no love. Not the old I envy, they die, but youth and monuments, both assailed as I am, and they still hold. Winter makes war with the waves, today no king will come here, nor the lowest road walker. I expect no one today. Overall, the hag plays a very iconic role in traditional folklore. The myriad of stories surrounding the hag are filled with different representation of the character, as well as valuable lessons. The hag will always remain an exciting and curious subject in Irish folklore because of her overall dynamic and mysterious nature. we used iMovie. It was a little more challenging to work with than we anticipated, however, we did make it work. Um, another issue that we faced was finding adequate photos to use in the video. 
Um, we believe that the most useful thing that we got from this assignment was working together in our group because it taught us to work together and to delegate tasks between us two. One of the biggest challenges that Danny and I faced when working with this project was finding enough concrete sources and descriptions about the hag online. To combat this, we decided to look more into stories of the hag. From there, we could see more about how she was portrayed in traditional Irish folklore and kind of who her character was. Um, from there, another decision we had to make was then to decide which stories we wanted to use and how we wanted to express the hag through those stories in our videos.